guys welcome back to another video with me <laughs> friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in on this beautiful, literally beautiful summer day to show you a beautiful canvas. The peonies are blooming right outside my window. I can see them. They're gorgeous. Here's what they look like. I've lived in my house for eight years. We put the peonies in like four years ago. This is the first year that they have not been knocked over by a giant thunderstorm or snow or mother nature in some way wind they actually made it <laughs> to full bloom this year for the first time ever these are these bushes are huge they're huge i wish you could see them right now but it's the little things in life that make you happy isn't it because these are making me happy this canvas is also making me happy this is a piece of art that I've had on my wish list for custom, for a custom diamond painting, since I started gathering art for custom diamond paintings. And when Robin said she was coming out with this, it had to happen, it just did. This is a canvas called Meeting on the Tour at Stairs from Distracted by Diamonds in a 62 by 103 centimeter square. <laughs> Oops. This canvas is gonna take me the rest of my natural life. And maybe my afterlife as well, I don't know. So <laughs> let's get into this. I already dumped my box out on the floor. But we'll just continue, <laughs> we'll continue dumping stuff out. Down in my box, I got a very cute little double-sided drill tray, a heart-shaped pink wax, a roll of washi tape, and a pink pen with a six-placer. What I always do with these is harvest the ends like that, and then I save those in my stash for using on my on my like real pens that I like, you know, my resin ones. So that's what comes in there. Those little containers are so good for storing your patty wax, your cover minder, if you're taking it on the road with you, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, the main event, obviously. I really wanted this for summer with the masters. I realized there was no way I should really start this for Summer with the Masters, but given how much I love Old Masters, it's going to happen. I'm going to get to this at some point in the future. I'm gonna unroll this to the top and then we'll go from the top down. There's no way this is gonna fit on my table right here. I'll record some B-roll to show you guys as we go along. All right, we have some release paper, which is really nice. You could cut this leave it in a square, you know, that kind of thing. We also have our sticker sheet with our pre-cut, our pre-cut symbols and labels with the DMC, the symbol, and the color number. Our usual blurb about Distracted by Diamonds, which is awesome. And then the meeting on the turret stairs by Sir Frederick William Burton, 1864. I love this. There's the original artwork. It's gorgeous. I love all things like Renaissance princess. You guys have probably realized this by now. Now this box, unfortunately, was very badly treated by my mail carrier. However, given that this is poured glue, I am not worried in the least about this unfolding and being okay. I'm gonna roll it backwards. I'm gonna try. We do have a little bit of like a poofy edge down here on the bottom of my canvas, but I'm trying to like pull the fibers off because I was like, is this gonna fray all over? It's not just like shedding. I think the machine must have just not quite cut through it all the way and then it kind of got pulled off. I, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Look at the faces, if you can. I'm filming around noon today and so this is a time of day I try to avoid because the light is just entirely wrong. But look at those beautiful, beautifully rendered faces. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, this blue. Okay, here's some B-roll of the whole canvas so you can see a little tour. I'll take you on a little trip with the symbols as well. This bad boy has 55 colors, so a lot of colors. 
I love this blue in her dress. Look at that blue in her dress. Oh my goodness. It is always a good sign to me when you can see what a canvas is without the drills on it, right? It, that means it's gonna look even better with the drills on it, normally, almost all the time. Look at that. His tunic, his sword. For one reason I love this canvas so much for diamond painting is because it doesn't have a huge swath of background to tackle. Most of what you see in the image itself are the figures. And that's, that's as a diamond painter what I wanna work on. I wanna work on faces and figures. I know some of you love landscapes. That's phenomenal, I love that. I find I lose my mojo on landscapes really, really fast, unfortunately. It's not a good quality for me, but I do. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like all paintings at this period of time, it seems like this one reflects a tragic love story. So the subject of this painting is from a Danish ballad, which tells the story of Helleliel. Hopefully I'm, I mean, my American accent just makes everything sound whatever, you know. <laughs> it's the story of Helleliel, who fell in love with her personal guard, Hildebrand. So this is Helleliel and Hildebrand. And Hildebrand was a prince of England, England. <laughs> um, and her father, of course, as in all good sto love stories, disapproved of the match and ordered her brothers to kill Hildebrand. So this is like their last meeting on the turret stairs. It's like a, a Shakespearean tragedy come to life. Very, very romantic, obviously. How gorgeous is that? Let's take a peek at the colors. Fun fact about this painting, it was a watercolor painting. It is a watercolor painting, it still is to this day. But doesn't it have the beautiful rich texture of oil? This artist is just incredible. That is a big burrito of drills. <laughs> 55 colors. That's not an insubstantial weight of drills. Those are, those are heavy. We'll just go for it here. What catches my eye right away are all of these blues. Look at this. That gorgeous dress is gonna be filled with blues of all hues, all hues of blues. Look at this, I mean all the way to teal. Come on, that's gorgeous. And they're pre-bagged, which I could not be happier about. I love it so much. If you struggle with having a lot of static in your pre-bagged drills, stick a little square of dryer sheet down in there. Shake them around with a dryer sheet. Otherwise, try to leave them as still as possible. The more you shake them around without a dryer sheet in them, the more you manipulate them, the more staticky they become. So just be careful. That's just a little word of warning there. When I have cellophane wrap drills, those are the ones that are really staticky for me. We do have some 939 dark purple. Look at this blue. I mean, shut the front door. That's gorgeous. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, more navy. A bag of 310, but not a ton of 310. We have quite a bit of 939, but not a ton of 310. We do have a stone wall in this bad boy, so of course we're gonna get some shades of stone wall going on in there. Some reds and pinks for Hildebrand's tunic here. It's amazing how many colors, how many shades of a color you can have to make something look really richly rendered and deep. So everything from burgundy all the way to orange. I assume, of course, some of the oranges are gonna be flesh tones also. Look at that, amazing, amazing. Thousands of colors of reds and oranges. And then our neutrals going on. There's another blue. This is gonna be gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. Now there's no ABs in this, and I am so glad to see that because my personal feeling is that in old masters, ABs don't always fit that well. If you did want to embellish this with some ABs, it might be lovely to find some shades that could go in the ribbon in her hair here, or on his sword that he's holding, or maybe on the buckle of his belt, something like that where a metallic shiny vibe would fit pretty well. But I tend to prefer my old masters just to be what they are. They're amazing enough as it is. This is gonna be a challenge. This is probably too big a challenge for me at this point in my life, but 
but I like a good challenge. So the great thing about diamond paintings is that to my knowledge, they don't expire. So we're just gonna keep working on our stash until we retire. They say you can't take it with you, but uh, I'm gonna try to take my diamond paintings with me. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys have really enjoyed seeing this beautiful canvas meeting on the turret stairs, aka Helalil and Hildebrand, the two lovers. Oh, so sad, so tragic. I hope you do not have at all a tragic week, that it's a marvelous week. Have a fantastic time working on your summer with the masters, projects, or whatever other project you're working on at the moment. And as always, spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.